In today's video, you're gonna learn how to convert a motion capture joint chain into real geometry. Coming up. Hey, welcome back. It's Nick here again from Grayscale Gorilla helping you make better renders in less time. And if you're new to Grayscale Gorilla, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. And also, if you're new to Cinema 4D, check out our Intro to Cinema 4D series. It's a completely free training series on our website. You can get more information on the card here and also down in the description. Now, on to today's tutorial. It's all about converting a motion capture joint chain into actual geometry so that you can follow along with some of our upcoming tutorials all about motion capture. So stay tuned, let's head on into Cinema 4D and let's do it. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D and if your FBX, uh, when you import it, it looks like this, you may have some problems down the road when it comes to following some of our tutorials. And that's really just because this FBX data is just kind of just the joints and it's, and it's just the rig, right? There's really no geometry here in your scene. Now some FBX data comes with the geometry, and then you, it'll be a little bit easier for you to follow along if you have something like that. But if you're just the bones here, just the joints, and you go click render, there's nothing there, right? There's nothing to clone onto, there's no geometry to, to break up or be dynamic or to change color, there's nothing here. So let me show you a really quick way to make a character out of just a joint structure. Okay, first thing you wanna do is go back to frame zero. And this will just be sure that everything's aligned properly. And uh, you're gonna see, you're gonna go find your joint uh, structure and you're gonna click the top one. Now what we really wanna do is have all of them selected. So the best thing to do is to right click on that top joint structure, come down here to select children and that's gonna select all of these joints all together. Now here's the button you need. You wanna go to character, make sure it's all selected. Go to character, go to conversion, and go to convert joints to polygon object. Boom. Okay, now check this out. We have a polygon object that is exactly, if we hit render, exactly all the joints in our character. So this already looks better. If we wanna clone onto this, we could do that. Now there's one problem with this. If we if we hit play, it is not tied to our our bone structure. It's just, uh, it's just standing there like a dummy. We want this thing to move around exactly like this does. So let's go back to frame zero. Let's reselect all of our joints here. And we can go select children. And now I want to also select our polygon. I'm gonna hit command and select our polygon as well. Now remember, this is all of the actual geometry. And what we're really gonna do is bind all of these joints, all this geometry to the original joints. And to do that, we go into the character menu again. We go to, uh, uh, let's see here. There it is, commands, bind, boom. Okay, now with any luck we hit play and now we actually have a moving piece of geometry. Check this out, now when we hit render, we have our little character here. Now this is important because now, as you follow along with some of our other tutorials about uh, motion capture and we do things like clone onto objects, if you, if you need to clone onto something, now you have some real stuff to, to clone onto. Just for example, I'm gonna make a cloner object here uh, with a sphere in it. So there's our clone, there's our sphere. Uh, I'm gonna shrink our spheres down. And now in our cloner, I'm gonna go to object. And now if I just drag the joints in that we had before, nothing shows up, nothing works. This is why we need to do that conversion. Now we have a polygon object we could bring in. And when we do that, everything sticks to all the joints, all right? Now, there's only a other, one other thing you wanna uh, remember, and that's when, when you hit play, nothing is actually sticking moving forward. And the only change you wanna do there is just drag your cloner object below. And we'll get into all this stuff in other tutorials, but I just wanna show you really quickly why we're making some geometry so that we can use it on uh, down the road with some of the other tutorials. So thanks again for watching. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to check out our Intro to Cinema 4D series all about learning the basics of Cinema 4D. We'll see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody. A little dark, isn't it? There we go. Brighten it up. Anyone see my Wacom pen? Anyone? Have you seen it?